Ethiopia is one of the oldest nations in Africa and on the globe. It has a total estimated population of 90 million and is composed of more than 80 different ethnic groups. The population predominantly lives in rural areas and depends on rain-fed agriculture for their survival. It is also vulnerable to the diverse impact of climate change. According to the Central Statistics Agency, in Ethiopia, pastoral and agro-pastoral communities constitute 12 to 15 percent of the population and occupy 60 percent of the total area of the country. These parts of the country have been affected by disasters such as drought, flooding, and conflicts. Due to climate change, the frequency of drought has increased, occurring once in two years. In order to readdress the impact of drought and flooding on the pastoral communities, various development actors have implemented development projects. Help Age International is one of the development actors implementing Disaster Risk Reduction, or DRR, projects with the objective of reducing the vulnerabilities of pastoral communities. Help Age International is a UK-based international non-governmental organization that started operating in Ethiopia in 1990. The organization is the only international NGO working for the rights of older people. We have been working in five key areas of uh, programs where we think we can make difference to improve the life of older people and other most vulnerable uh, parts of the population in Ethiopia. The five major thematic areas that Help Age International has been intervening in to improve the life of older people and other more vulnerable groups include social protection and securing income for older people, health and HIV AIDS, disaster risk reduction and emergency response, and the national and the international network and global campaign to create a better UN legal instrument for older people. The five operational regions of the organization include Amhara, Oromia, Tigray, Somali, and SNNP. Addis Ababa and Diradawa are the two city administrations where the organization is operational. Doing disaster risk reduction in the most vulnerable pastoral areas is long-sighted and contributes to sustainable development. Borena is one of the most vulnerable pastoral areas of Ethiopia, located 565 kilometers away from Addis Ababa and situated in Oromia Regional State. The rapid assessment undertaken at the end of 2011 revealed that 6 out of 13 districts of Borena Zone, namely Arero, Mio, Dilo, Moyali, Dira, and Dihas, have suffered severely from recurrent drought and are identified as the six hot spots of drought. The areas where we're working, like Borana area, uh, the area is always uh, prone to drought, uh, and we're working in six uh, hot spots areas, which means they normally experience drought. Every two, three years, there's a drought. Uh, so uh, the community is actually, they've been uh, you know, uh, facing uh, the, the risks of drought. And this program actually uh, was brought about to try to, you know, to, to reduce vulnerabilities, you know, and then improve the resilience of the community. With the financial support of the European Commission Directorate General for Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection, ECOS, Help Age International implemented the Ethiopia Learning, Evaluation and Action Project, ELEAP, with the objective of reducing the vulnerability and enhancing the resilient capacity of the most affected segment of the population in the six drought hotspot districts. 
most pastoralists, agro-pastoralists are living in extreme weather, air, uh, extreme weather and extreme difficult uh, areas where government capacity is very low, where also uh, assistance from other organizations is very low or limited, then it justifies uh, our operationality, semi-operationality to work in those pastoralist, agro-pastoralist areas of example of uh, Borana, Kuji or uh, lowland of Oromia in general. The project was designed and implemented in collaboration with the target communities and local governments. The organization has given maximum attention to these districts and localities to contribute and to tackle the critical problems. In doing so, the project used the local knowledge, practices and experiences. We have been active uh, in recent uh, drought situations where uh, HelpAge was one of the key uh, actors in terms of responding to older people cause uh, because of the humanitarian crisis uh, some, some years back. But as we recover from that situation, we are also focusing on disaster risk management uh, in different parts of the country where we are working to reduce risks uh, that affect people uh, and push them to go into disaster situation. As the principal of the program of Help AIDS International is, choose the people, work with them, and come up with the solutions which actually affect the lives of the most vulnerable communities. With the objective of empowering the most vulnerable groups of the communities to partake in the overall cycle of the project, an intergenerational approach has been utilized. The approach looked at disaster in generational perspectives and brought older and younger people together in community dialogue and community risk management planning. Putting people into the stage of the thinking process was given maximum consideration and beneficiaries were involved in participatory vulnerability capacity assessment to develop their vulnerability capacity. Uh, the way one generation responds, perceives and manages disaster and climate change is different from the other generation. Therefore, what we say in action about intergenerational approach is about how particularly the younger generation and also the older generations together, uh, what do they perceive about disasters and climate change in the past and at the same time how they see and perceive the future and what are the proposed actions that they want to take and share in terms of bringing solution to this effect. Intergenerational approach is actually this approach which actually looks at different type of generations. Uh, the ideas bring them together, look at the strength, use the strength and move the program forward. In each target district, an intergenerational club was established to facilitate selection and prioritization of the beneficiaries and activities. The community themselves, they chose the poorest of the poor, and the, within the group of the poorest of the poor, they chose a committee, uh, the one we're calling intergenerational club. The clubs were designed to contain older people, people with disabilities, women-headed households, children, and youth. Geleba is one of the two Kebeles of Arero District where ELEAPT projects have been implemented. The two major activities undertaken in this district include restocking and cash for work. To select beneficiaries to benefit from these initiatives, the intergenerational approach was utilized. Firstly, the community representatives gathered in a place convenient to select members of the intergenerational club. Amar, 
Dubartoota warra qaama miidhama cufuma jaarole cufa bakka boye waan jiruu fi mena ma warra kana keessa nuun ta'u nama jettan The community selected the intergenerational clubs containing representatives of the most affected and vulnerable people. Then, the communities approved the club and gave the mandate to perform its responsibilities assigned by the communities. Yolen Tamari ke jirti, yokan yolen ada abang kab, ye na fa balang ke jira, akana filenne kunini deme umat filai chalale umat kapas. Korean tu ni, Korean kami, me Korean tan nam jala tan filan dah itu, nam jala itu umat itu ufke sa kapas, ebelu ebelu ukana isan jala tu isan ita ha jete. Gisi afuri shani ti de bifte akasin jala lumata tin Korean sun filat. Korean tu ni umma tak kenal lebak kau buat eh nama tu sila umma tak kesat loka tani hafan wah untuk dikehendak nak bantu fi naf itu an nafat dikatuh fi bala uan bala dikatuh fi jar se uan jar sat dikatuh fi dargago uan dargago dikatuh fi ijo lembar nota uan bar nota ijo kerap bar nota ini wah ulbet tuh fi ama kamu kesat filte alalani akar akatan kamu umma tak kesat tindakan ni isakan nak dikehendak ni kalau tinggal filaturan. Wali Marianne, wani ku akan teh umal, akan teh umal. Jenne wali Dubanne, nama rakau kap, ebelu kana ebelu rajir, kana ebelu ungat. Kana ira kara kap, kana ira horing kan, nun jeda ni, wang kana duban. Ante wara ganda tu ya ante, nama arkarsa mangudo, kada imani had af abang kanne kan niti irsan kanne, nama modat daba gan ni satu dua, wa kana kana arkarsa kana fi lafat esen tanar unne. Nama ammo isin ganda kana nu te a rakin na ganda kana kaya sa juru himbe kajetan filat ajet ane duran dursa wora ganda ti tu dubatan. Nabi gubani furatu kabu na metan. Furatu kabu na metan me. Sayi. Wot wot gubani. Andi tu. Furatu malay tani badi. Ormi kata nu badi. These clubs had the responsibility of mobilizing the communities to list and prioritize projects that address the critical problems of the area. The selected beneficiaries included older persons, people who lost livestock due to drought, people with disabilities, and the poorest of the poor. In the process of identification, some people who were not eligible were wrongly identified. But the general public rejected such people and gave the chance for the most vulnerable groups. <laughs> Sabab ini buat cung kan dia. Ini nama wakab utok ko. Amu nama isah gadi ti jira nama isah gadi ke nomal lemah le isah ke nomal dan dia. Betul ni lah. Ibrahim ini nama furatuk abah itu. Nekuru Ibrahim ini dia susun kana nama Ibrahim furatuk abah itu. Mereka bahas. Wang aman tak tabat ya tuh. Wang bujat dan dan dia. Binaga wang tuh tuh. Tiada betul lah ini furatuk abah umat wang je tuh. Jero tuh ko mereka mereka ni sa. It was the general public that officially approved the selected beneficiaries for restocking and cash for work activities. 
نمرکت آفیل میره نمیکوتاتون دندن نمیلکوتو کوکابون دندن نمیره ات کتی گلهای دتون کن نمی ساعت کوچان کن نمی واتی تکان کن جارتی لاتون گدی باته شانات کوفچ آفتن دندن نمی میل ساعت دلوقا ایت ساعت دلوقا من فیتو بیشون دندن نمی هنی ساعت درور را امت نمی دعای بد برچ ایسو کابلو کد آبانی تک نمال سگله نیاتوله سگله جیفتوله نیاتن دندن کان Dillo is one of the six target districts of the Ely project. This district was selected in collaboration with the Zonal and Waberda relevant departments. In this district, development activities are the lowest and local capacity to address the key development challenges are minimal. Lack of water for domestic use and inaccessibility to the market are the two most critical problems of Chereti Kebele. In order to fetch water for drinking and domestic purposes, the people of the area travel up to 20 kilometers. Fetching water is the most difficult task for women and girls of the Kebele. <laughs> In addition to the difficulties of its accessibility, the water that has been used has extreme sanitation problems and is very salty with no treatment undertaken before use. Help Age International through the Intergenerational Club has mobilized the communities of Cheriti Kebele to identify, prioritize, and list the possible projects that can actually solve the most critical problems in the area. After intensive participation in the process of prioritization and screening, the communities came up with two projects that best addressed the most pressing problem of the areas. These projects were underground cistern development and the establishment of an older people self-help cooperative. The project is employing the principle of from the people to the people and has empowered the local communities in the planning and budgeting of activities. The two projects received acceptance and the project provided the budget for the communities to allocate for the two sub-projects. <laughs> Amo irmana tena kuma 
The purpose of the establishment of an older people self-help cooperative is to solve the problem related to the unavailability of food items, such as grains in the area, and, at the same time, improve the income status of very poor older people and enhance their resilient capacity to disasters. With the allocated budget, an older people self-help group was established and underground cistern constructed. Help Age International preferred to be operational where local capacity is in a difficult situation to do the job. The organization believes in partnership and has good cooperation with the communities, the government of Ethiopia, and a strong attachment with research institutions. It has been working with both Borena zonal sector departments, relevant offices of the target districts, and with communities at large from the inception of the project idea until its conclusion. We wanted to work within the government policy, which we think is in the right direction of the Hugo framework of action at this point in time. And there is a new policy that enables really local volunteerism, local support, local institutions being harnessed. LPG International Ghana Murasaf Yamma Gudil Borana Vesati Ujio Jechajirani Jalkaba Yo Jilafanati Godinborana Jalkabani Motumawalin.